Hey guys, it's Kristen at Crafty Cat Doc. Um, I'm back again today with some more journals. I um, kind of took a break on the little golden book journals. I'm going on a trip in a couple weeks and I needed a travel journal. So I thought, why well, make just one when I can make four? So um, I've got three that are for sale. Um, so I'm going to set a couple of them aside. Um, so they are made from Reader's Digest covers. I have um, removed the covers. Um, they are a soft spine, again, same as the last ones with the paper canvas. It's covered in fabric. This is a Rifle Paper Co. fabric. Um, it's beautiful with different cities. Um, and then I've just put stickers on to make it kind of look like a suitcase. Um, there is some staining on some of these covers. They are old, they are clean. They're just kind of stained. There is a charm. The charm is actually on a bookmark on the spine. This was not my idea. Thrifty Day on YouTube made some and I thought they were really cool. So um, I copied her. Um, so on this one we've got, um, we've got beads, buttons, got a little key on there, um, a battleship piece from a game. Um, there is a floral piece from a vintage necklace. Um, we've got a bottle cap and then just a little charm and another button there. So I'm going to set that aside because it's loud um, and start going through it. So um, just a kind of eclectic, no real theme other than travel, no color theme or anything like that. Um, and if you notice, it's kind of the pages stick out. Um, I watched a video recently from Sam Poole and she did a journal recently where her spine was bigger than her book cover and I loved it. So that's kind of where I got that idea and, and went with it. So we've got some scrapbook paper. This is a vintage envelope from 1922. There's nothing in it, but it is just attached there. So you can flip out and put something in. This is index paper from an old atlas, music paper, some braille, backside of some braille paper with um, trim on it, address book. This piece is not vintage. It is a printable that I've printed on linen paper. So it feels really cool. Put some fake old tape on it and backed with some coffee dyed paper. So just a fun ephemera piece clipped on with a Tim Holtz clip there. Um, there are multiple Atlas pages in here. They are all from Atlases from, not all, several are from the late 1800s, early 1900s. I don't remember which is which, um, but they're really cool old Atlases. This is a page from a catalog. Um, I don't remember, I have several old catalogs, so I don't remember which one it was, but I think from the 60s maybe, um, of luggage. Um, price is much cheaper than they are today. I've got a trim pocket here with a vintage postcard. Um, that one's from Hawaii. And this again is not real ephemera. It's printed on linen paper. It's got a real stamp. It's got the tape and it's backed with some coffee dyed gray paper. Um, another old Atlas piece here with a flip out. Um, here we have an ad from, it's from a, a playbill from the Broadway play from the 60s maybe. Um, it's just an ad for an airline. I've backed it with some old paper and, or actually it's digital old paper. It's not true old paper, but, and that's in there. In this little belly band, we have a playing card with maps of London on it. A digital tag that I've added some to and backed with some, um, paper got a French um, vocabulary card, an English vocabulary card, and then a New Zealand airline, mini airline card. Um, again, this is a Tim Holtz paper with just some of the hotel, hotel stickers. Um, the back of the music paper, Atlas index paper. Here is another pocket. Um, this is a real ticket and a real stamp. Um, this is a real postcard from 1925. This is a digital with a real ticket. So I tried to dress up the digitals a little bit with some authentic stuff. This is just a cluster I made. It's just paper clipped on with a Tim Holtz tiny clip. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. This is not, oh, this is vintage ledger. Um, lots of vintage ledger in here. This one's written on. They range from 
the early 1900s to the 60s maybe. Um, a lot of them have writing. I put a lot of the offcuts of the ledger in here because I know I like to have scraps of ledger, um, like 1913. This paper's fragile, but it works great for collage. And then this is just an offcut of a newer atlas. Um, we've got a book from, uh, an image from a children's book, Catching the Train. This again is a newer atlas. I don't have a year on it. it. I would say it's vintage, but it's newer. This is just some typing paper, blank vintage, vintage ledger with a flip out, some trim. Um, this is a little glassine envelope with 10 or 12 vintage stamps. Um, they are real, um, just to use however you would like. This pocket is some vintage wallpaper that I just purchased a roll of. Um, I have put a vellum, vellum piece over it to make it a pocket so you can still see the wallpaper. There's tags from a travel game. There is a vintage um, photo from Temple Rock. Um, and then in here we have another vintage postcard from 1953 and then a flashcard about Nevada. Um, this again is a digital that's on the linen paper again and then I have turned it into just a little mini journaling space there and it is stapled. Um, so every journal is a little bit different. I'm going through this one in more detail. I will go through the other ones a little bit faster. And just like everyone else on videos, I'm having a hard time getting that clipped back on. There we go. Um, more vintage Atlas. This is um, a different language. It's French. <laughs> Standard French authors. Again, this pocket is more just offcuts of the ledger that I used. And then a playing card from Delta. It's got some fabric there. Um, this is another image from a vintage children's book with a flashcard with some fabric on top. This is a digital French invoice letter, something that flips down. You could write on the back, do whatever you want with that. This flips out. More trim on just a white sheet of paper. It's I think it's typewriter paper too. Um, more of the um, index pages from the atlas with more offcuts of ledger. Um, this envelope is full of more of these kind of stickers and some tickets. So um, I have several ticket rolls, so I've included some tickets from each of those. And then I had extras of the stickers that I cut, and there's smaller ones still in there. So I just put all those in there so you can use them however you would like. And have a little decorated envelope. This is just, this card was too big to fit in a pocket, so I just decided to make it a little standalone thing. Again, it's just like a country flash card. I um, made a pocket on the front and just included some tags. Again, these are all digitals that I have added stamps and little tickets to, and they're backed for writing. Um, again, that just kind of hangs out in there. This is a vintage sheet um, that I made a little pocket out of with a um, vintage radio card in there. This is a book on learning Japanese. Scrapbook paper, tiny dictionary page, more ledger, little fabric pocket with, again, a printable um, piece of ephemera with tape and backed. This is a little card. This is vintage wallpaper as well that I've made a little tag out of. And again, just a little journey card digital with real stamp and it's backed. This flips out and there is a, um, a real master with St. Petersburg, Florida on there. So it's actually in the envelope and that's also a tuck spot behind it. I didn't stick anything back there because I forgot. Um, here is another side pocket with a belly band. The belly band is an old matchbook that I have put there. Um, this is a, a, bin, a genuine vintage ad from a photography book that's backed. Digital tag with a, with a um, ticket and stamp. And then inside the pocket another digital tag that's backed. And another ad from the old playbill that's backed to write on. This 
is not English. I don't know what language that is, but it looks cool. Um, the back of the Japanese paper. This is not a, this is a, a copy of a photo that I got recently. I just thought it was super cute. I'm not ready to get, give up the original yet, but I just imagine these, this little family on vacation. This guy looks like he's having fun. This is a real photo of just some mountains in the distance. This is a vintage train schedule. Um, it's pretty cool. So that will be in all the journals. Um, 1968 it says and then this is a sheet from a 1917 telephone book from Arkansas I'm originally from West Tennessee so I got that at an antique store somewhere there I would assume um, I have attached to the a vintage slide these are like souvenir ones um, it's just attached with a bracket, so you can take it off if you don't like it there. This is the cover from a map from, um, Europe. I was in Scotland a few years ago and went to a thrift store there and bought a bunch of vintage maps. Um, and I just took the covers off of some similar ones to use as pockets. This is an, uh, like a souvenir postcard book that's... I have, postcards are not in there, but I have filled it with um, vintage ledger paper. I did not cut those strings. I'll do that real quick. Um, and that just slips in there. And then this is a large lace or trim pocket. This is not vintage, but just again, another good size piece of ledger scrap. This is the getting to the end. There's another um, illustration from a children's book, packing up to go on vacation, playing card from United Airlines, a Monopoly card, and another ledger scrap. Uh, date's not on that one. And that is it for that one. So let's put this charm. Back in there. Alright. And then we've got the red one. Again, this this is the same rifle rifle paper co fabric. It's just in a different colorway. Um, there's the back. And we'll take the charm out again. On this one we have um, the same types of charms. So the bottle cap, a key. Um, I've got I had four of these little um, pendants, so I'll put that on all of them. Some buttons, a little battleship. This one has a different flower and some little, um, just little charms. We'll set that to the side. Let me look at my video and make sure I'm still in frame. Yes. Okay. So again, very similar, um, vintage envelope, envelope. This one's from 1942. Um, this one has the same stuff. Uh, another ad from the playbill, um, vintage postcard, um, digital ephemera. They all have a page from that shopping, um, from that catalog. It had multiple luggage pages, thankfully, so that worked out. Um, this one has St. Louis Zoological Park as the Viewmaster reel. Um, let's see. Again, a vintage postcard and digital ephemera that's been touched up. Um, this one actually has the same. I had two copies of that. Um, story so it has the same one this card with the vintage wallpaper tab it's backed for journaling this ledger paper was from 1922 this one has another one of those um, checks that's digital that's um, on, backed for journaling there's this flip um, it's actually got avocado dyed paper on the back um, writing paper ledger there's your stamps this one has this little again this was a digital envelope that i put together and just put some, a little tiny notebook of ledger paper inside
Um, here's a belly band with the matchbook. Same stuff. Flashcards, um, game cards, journaling card. Um, and that's all I want to flip out. Pocket with um, at, uh, scraps from the Atlas and ledger. And then this is a digital French check um, that comes front and back, which is really cool. I am, I have a lot of digitals from a lot of different shops. I love to buy digitals off of Etsy. So I apologize. I don't know who any of them are from. I'm really bad. Some of them I can somewhat remember. Um, a lot of them, I buy a lot of French ephemera just because it looks cool. And so I forget who's from where, but, um, there's a lot, a lot of great shops out there with great digitals. Um, and I love to support them and buy them. I love original ephemera too, but, um, I love doing the digitals as well. There's the United Airlines card, real ledger, um, digital letter, um, and that's a children's book image. The children's book images have been backed with paper, so they're pretty sturdy. Um, here's another index page from an atlas. Again, ledger pieces in there, digital ephemera, digital tag that's got some stamps on it. This is a Tracy Fox tag, I know that. Um, this is, this is a Sam Pool um, from her French Blues or French Greens, um, package. This is a digital, I don't remember who it's from. These are scraps of a ledger back there, and so this wraps around, and it's a little tuck spot here too, and there's the Delta playing card. Um, again, a vintage sheet pocket, um, with a radio card. Uh, another little cluster that's just clipped in there you can do what you want with. Um, this one has a scrap of ledger and then a boat card. Again, this is from a children's book. The children's book images are all original. They have been cut out by me. Um, let's see. There's that picture again with this one has people on a trail near some mountains. And that same bus schedule from 1968. Um, here's this pocket. These are all digitals that are backed. Um, I think these digital cards are from Polka, Polka Dot Pixels. Um, I bought a lot from her. She has a pretty unique, uh, recognizable style. This is your vintage wallpaper with this again a, a, an original postcard I mean original photo um, and the game cards this is another original postcard from 1919 and a Wyoming card here's the little standalone thing for this one um, this is definitely polka dot pixels um, Tracy Fox this is a original ad that's been backed and sewn around. There's your envelope of tickets and more stickers like this. These stickers are just fun to stick randomly on the pages, I think. That's what I plan to do with mine. Um, there's the same postcard folder with um, the ledger inside and the map front. Another trim pocket with a monopoly card, ledger, um, just a journaling card, and another little game card. There's your slide from this one. It's from Sevierville, Tennessee. Again, it's a souvenir one. I think they are vintage. They're just souvenir. They're not like personal ones. And here's a side pocket with a little tuck at the bottom. Again, another digital tag, an original ad from the Holiday Inn. And then inside here we have a Tracy Fox digital and another ad from the Playbill for Delta. And again, everything's back for journaling. And that's it for that one. Stick your charm back inside. And the last one. So oh, this one's green. Um, again, Rifle Paper Co. fabric, but this one is in like a stamp and postal theme. Um, and there's the back. Tag for this one, or charm for this one. Buttons, keys, all of them have a little bell too, just like hearing it jingle. Um, 
We've got the bottle cap and the little battleship button, that same charm, and then this flower from a necklace. That flower is so cute. Um, I really enjoy. This is the first time making journal charms, and I um, I don't necessarily like them to stay on. I'm going to work on a way to clip them so that they can actually go here, but I really like the bookmark idea too. Um, they look very cute on the shelf with the charm. I don't necessarily want the charm on it when I'm working in it though, so... Um, same thing. So this envelope is from 1965. Um, more of the same. This one's got a little bit different map in it. The braille paper with the belly band. Um, and the ad from United Airlines. Again, that. This one has the postcard from Indigo, California. This is another invoice. Um, it's a digital that I've backed, but put a few things on it to make it look more original and print it on linen paper. That's a good trick. It just looks really cool and feels cool. Um, some more luggage papers. Another digital. This one again has a postcard and a digital receipt. Again, the tickets on these and the stamps are real um, from 1952. They're all from the same, all of them, each pocket had one from the same place, the CBS Radio Playhouse in Hollywood. Um, here is the pullout tag. Again, tags and journaling card in there. Um, cluster that I made that's just clipped in. Lots of ledger, lots of atlas pages. That was kind of my goal on these. Um, there's your little flip down for this one. Again, these are from Sam Poole too. She's got a dusty pink digitals collection. I really like those. Uh, little envelope of stamps. Um, kids book page with a locomotive tag. There's the little pocket of stickers and tickets. Um, scraps from the Atlas, Ledger, and the Delta playing card. This one, yeah, had I think has more pockets, so it has a little bit more stuff in it. Um, two digitals and a journaling card. The flip out with the Viewmaster. It's the desert, wildflowers in bloom. I do have a Viewmaster but I didn't look at these, but looking at my light, these are beautiful. I wish I had the actual pictures of those. That one's probably my favorite of all of them. Vintage sheet with the radio card inside. This is um, children's illustration with the airlines card, top tuck. Yeah, this one is the one with more pockets because I was just sticking stuff in them. Um, more digitals, Tracy Fox, Tracy Fox. Um, and again, I don't remember who those other digitals are from. Another kid's book illustration. I think this little kid is so cute. Uh, Tracy Fox tag, another digital Monopoly card. It's a fun little tuck. There's our wallpaper pocket. Um, this looks like a view from an airplane, an old like biplane or something. It looks like that's a really cool picture. Um, and the postcard is very vibrant. I really like this postcard as well. Um, it's from Florida in 1946. There's the envelope with the little ledger booklet in there. Um, this your matchbook is from Golden Gate um, Hotels. We've got a vintage ad. Um, the Vocabulary cards and the New Zealand card in there. Tracy Fox tag, another ad from the Playbills. Another Forbidden Caverns from Sevierville, Tennessee slide. There's your pocket from on this one with the little ledger book inside. Trim pocket with ledger and atlas paper in there. Uh, just typewriter paper picture in this one and again that couple 
just doing some hiking and exploring it looks like and that's it for this one so i hope you guys like these i am very excited to work in mine um these may be some of my favorite journals i've ever made though i feel like i think that about most of them um but i really like these i think they are super cool i love uh, i struggle i've had these reader's digest covers for ages and i don't know how to use them i feel like everything's been done and i i don't know i just kind of am bored with them um and so i really like this take on them I, I enjoy these a lot so i hope you guys like them i am going to if you're watching this they're up on my etsy shop um so take a look if you're interested um if you have any questions let me know and thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time